What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a little modern, a little modern brusal here today, and uh, this is an interesting one by uh, Steve M, otherwise known as Access Denied. And uh, what do we got here? We got some, we got some fairy rogues here, or just rogues in general. Like this guy's just a vampire rogue. This, is, these are all merfolk rogues and naga rogues. Uh, so we have actually four, five, six. We have ten one drops. Four Remand, four Bitter Blossom, which makes Fairy Rogues, four Una's Blackguard, which was awesome at the time. Whenever a creature with a plus one plus one counter deals damage, you, that player discards a card. And then whenever a rogue enters the battlefield, it gets a counter. Okay. So, Thieves Fortune, uh, which is look at the top four cards of your library, put one in your hand and the rest on the bottom. So it's basically like impulse for one mana. Uh, because you're paying the prowl cost, which is if you dealt combat damage with a rogue. One, please reschedule your haircut bug. <laughs> No, I'll never do that. I'll never do that. It's so hard for me to get a schedule to get like at a good time, so I'm just like, no, nah, I'll just get it. <clears throat> uh, Prowl is three on Latchkey Fairy. When I was a battlefield, draw a card. So it's just basically a three-one for three that draws you a card. Earwig Squad, you remember this guy? No. You don't remember Earwig Squad? I wasn't around back then, man. I was sending Earwig Squad into your room every night. Wow. Five three for three. I'm always gonna use their Prowl cost because it's. It's pretty likely that you're going to be prowling. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, search the opponent's library for three cards and exile them. And it's a 5-3, which is pretty big. Latchkey is one I feel is cool. I agree. This is this is more like a... Uh, like a yeah, it's cute. And then you have Stink Drinker Bandit, which is what I call you sometimes. Uh, two mana for a 2-1. Whenever a rogue you control attacks isn't blocked, it gets plus 2, plus 1. It's a pretty sizable lord. And it's like a really funny picture. <laughs> it's like, <clears throat> and you have going on around this corner here. What's what's going on around here? And then you got knowledge exploitation, which is seven mana normally, but four mana with prowl. Search your opponent's library for an instant or sorcery. You may cast it without paying its mana cost, and that player shuffles their library, which is pretty sweet. Sideboard, pretty standard stuff. Actually, it's modern stuff. <laughs> and it was absolutely terrible. I feel bad for myself. I am going to go to the play lobby, and I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in a queue and see what we can do with this fairy rogue list, or regular rogue list. It's not even fairies. Like there's goblins, there's vampires. It's all kind of rogues. I put two knowledge exploitation in the deck because I knew I would never side it. You know what? I'm never gonna board this in. So if I put it in the main deck, I'm just forcing myself to play it. That's a good. That's a solid strategy. I can get behind that. What's your favorite creature tribe in Magic? Favorite tribe? Yeah. Probably elves. Elves, really? Mm -hmm. I would not have pinned you as an elf man. I like the combo wombo. An elfman, if you will. Okay, so I really like... How many lands are in this deck? There's 20, but so we can play this guy in turn one, and then attack and prowl to hit a second land if we really need to. Oh, that's true. I'm actually going to keep this hand. Also, this guy's a 1 2 for 1. Jesus. Squires, Squires come a long way. What? <laughs> She's like, what a rate? Yeah. I mean, that is pretty good, right? What if you switch it? What if it's a 2 1 that can't be blocked for 1 mana? It'd be one of the best magic cards ever printed. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> you just drop four of those in your deck. You're like, well, you got to deal with them, I guess. I always, I, I actually love the questionable cards in the main deck, and I'm like, oh, these are an easy cut. I think their one drop is better. Oh, look at this new stomping ground. That is vibrant. Look at it. Did you look at it? You were too busy listening to your mom. It's true. Michael, at what time are you going to be here? Well, actually, my stepdad messaged me that, and I told him around five, and he's like, four would be better for me, and I'm like, I'm just not going to respond, and I'm coming at five, because that's what time I said I was coming. <laughs> Well, can you change your schedule around mine? What, what are they going to eat dinner at 4? No, he needs help with some TV thing, but I don't know why I can't help them out with that at 5. Yeah, I don't know either. That's weird. If you're doing them a favor, it seems more reasonable that you would come over when it's... 2-Bit Cliff, thank you so much for the resub, but, or the regular sub. Really appreciate it. Turd Ape? Well, this guy's a maniac. More like Turd Ape. I am worried about these bigger creatures than ours. Oh, we did it. We did it. Now what do we do? Hmm. Well, it's not this. We can keep up a rand, but that doesn't seem great. It might be Bitter Blossom. It might just be Una's Black Guard. But then, like, so if we play Una's Black Guard now, and we play Bitter Blossom next turn, we get no guy. 
And then we just get... I'm just going to play Bitter Blossom here. It's probably dangerous against this Stomping Ground deck, but this is the life we've chosen. Oh, we haven't sung Happy Birthday to my kid. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. We'll have to do that. Thank you. Wow. Nupster, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Seven months of riveting content for medium fanboys. <laughs> good times. Good times. Yeah, feel free to wish Mike a happy birthday. It is his birthday today, it's so... It's really not. He gets shy. Don't listen to him. You know, some people are like, when you go to the restaurant, you get them a little cake. And then they're like, no, stop. I, it's not. I don't want to do this. But then, like, you do it anyway, because it's, it's their birthday, you know? I hate you. Don't be so hostile. We're at 10. Eh, this doesn't feel good. I do want a Thieves Fortune. Happy birthday, Mike. It's your birthday. Thank you. What's going on here? Neon Tokyo Rain with 10 gifted subs? God, you are the hero. You are the hero. Thank you. <coughs> I like that you gifted a sub to medium fan. That's pretty good. Oh, and that's admirable. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> I, I think I'm I'm think I'm dying. Oh, I wanna take this fatal push. Yeah, you push it. That should have definitely put us back to five hundred for sure. For sure. <clears throat> Meanwhile, my throat is dying. M -m -m my throat. M -m 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 I'm sorry. What? Thank you. Yeah, I'm just gonna block here because I don't feel like dying. <clears throat> I mean, I'll probably die anyway, but you know, at least we're gonna go out fighting. Oh, do they have a lightning helix? Because that would be sweet. Let's do that. Let's attack with this dude. Oh my god, these are still going. These are still going. Have you tried not dying? It's a strategy I try to employ sometimes, but I'm not great at it. At the very least, we get to take a gander at your deck, deck arena. Uh, oh, you don't have any lightning helixes? You son of a biscuit. You're just red-green. What is devastating summons? Sacrifice X lands. Create two XX elemental tokens. Actually, making two two twos here is not terrible. <clears throat> yeah that's not bad that's not terrible that gives us some bodies on the board put the bodies on the board I remember taking down a local F and I'm standing with the Morning Tide Rogues pre-constructed deck nice nice those are those memories I can't even read the cards on Arena? Yikes. Whose bread it was that I cannot read the cards? Well, that's unfortunate because I got the little I got the little dude right here. <clears throat> yeah, that's rough because it actually triggers all of these guys. And I really don't want to pay four. Huh. So I'm not going to Saw Hungry Howie's Pizza in Erie, Pennsylvania over the weekend. The hype train was real. <laughs> nice. I hope you went to it. I don't think I will take four damage. <clears throat> How you doing over there? I only got one land and they're crushing us. Yeah, it's really rough. Two, two, one, two, 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 Yeah, there's actually the deck the deck master extension that should let you hover over the cards and read them. I feel like Bitter Blossom's actually slowly killing us. Did you guys anybody get anybody else get that feeling? <clears throat> We're gonna go to the next game. There's no way we can actually uh we have literal one turn left. Hmm. Okay, so against this deck, probably want the Dragon's Claw, the one of Dragon's Claw. Probably want these Inquisitions. Probably want the dismembers. They're so expensive, though. Oh, we definitely don't want remand. I can bring in a dismember. 
Uh, I don't think exploitation's great here. Bring another dismember and probably like a spell pierce. Spell pierce. Yeah, they got a ton of burn, and not a ton of mana. Spell pierce. <laughs> what in tarnation? Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday, buddy. I'm really proud of you for growing up and being this old. When you were when you were one year well, one year ago, did you ever think you'd make it to be this old? Yeah. Even when you were like living on the streets with addicted to drugs. Yeah. That's wow. All right. Well, they have one temple garden. They have no red mana. They have a bunch of pelt collectors. I'm just gonna take this wild McCattle, I think. Wild McCattle. So this is always a two-two, but the pelt collectors are both gonna be two-twos because of the wild McCattle. So the only way they can make these two twos is if they hit a red. I'm gonna take the wild McCattle. Them banana frappuccinos are a hell of a drug. You're right. Spell Pierce. I don't even know him. That's good. That is a solid meme. I think. I think. It's probably not. Oh, wow. The rich get richer, my dude. Hmm. Huh. I kind of just want to play Blackguard here, but... What do they have? A bunch of junk? A bunch of garbage? A bunch of red nonsense? I hope they never hit a red land. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I can only imagine. <laughs> oh, lord. Hmm. We have a lot of options here. We can play Muta Vault and Blackguard. We can play Delta and then play two one drops. What's VSL? That's your legacy. <laughs> Rector. Arena Rector damn near killed her. That's <laughs> I'm okay with that legacy. That's a solid legacy to have. What's the temperature outside? Who knows? Alexa, what's the temperature outside? 54 degrees. Expect a low of 48. I don't know what to do here. I'm going to be honest with you. I think we want to minimize the number of creatures they can play. So, we'll get rid of this. Oh, Burning Tree Emissary? Oh, that's scary. If you hit any other land, you just go Burning Tree into, like, Vexing Devil. Ugh. Ugh. Goo. Goo. Well, it, it wasn't exactly a goo. It was more like a... It was a goo. Whatever. I'm going to riskily... Riskily take the card they can play. Riskily. Riskily for the biscally. Oh, Alexa, how much does a bidet cost? The top search results for bidets must be daily or self-cleaning nozzles. It's $34.50 on Amazon. $34. That's like nothing. It was also it was also referred to as a self cleaning nozzle. Just so those guys, for those who are interested, hmm. so you have lightning bolt, vexing devil, or bushwhacker in hand. Okay, I can deal with that. You're probably gonna play the vexing devil. Actually, you're probably gonna play the bushwhacker, aren't you? Get busy whacking. Okay, well now we're gonna crack this for a basic swamp, <clears throat> which I think is fine. And then we're gonna push this dude off a cliff. So now you have a two two and a two one, and you have a lightning bolt and one other card in hand. That's that's okay. That's okay. Hey, that's okay. Oh, all right. Now we're talking. See, now we can do one of these jobbies into this two two life linker, which is a nice. But days are amazing. Yeah, there's nothing like getting some water splashed up in your bee hole. <laughs> that's really. That's how you know you're living. Wow, this is an aggressive attack. Uh, I'll block. Because I gain two? <laughs> Please. Alright, well, we're doing we're doing alright here. Let's play old Mutie Tootie. days of the shiz or for after the shiz wow <laughs> it's a real post shiz experience mostly yeah we're just gonna take two here that's fine well if you don't have any red mana I feel 
feel bad for you, son. You got 99 problems, and your mana is certainly one. Wow, this is 20 lands in the deck, and we're like we're hitting all the we're getting all the hits here. I'm really reluctant to attack with this because it's just such a good like it's it's a good lord. I was like, oh yeah, do that. Come on over. I'm just gonna block with Needle Alt. I feel better about that. I don't think they have anything anyway. Oh, I forgot that stupid trigger when it dies. God, I never I never remember that it's when it dies too. Nah, I guess we don't care. <laughs> yeah, see you later. I guess we're just gonna play the land. We have no uh, incentive not to hold a random dark slick shores that's gonna come into play tapped at some point. Block right now. I ain't trying to I ain't trying to conceal no dark slick shores information from my my mono red green opponent. Is that even a thing? A mono red green opponent? If can you imagine if this one had a counter on it? We just be making a discard every turn? If only. Here comes a... Oh, wow. They're just holding a bunch of red cards, apparently. There it is. Thank you. Bob, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Don't get to see you live too often being in the UK. Still worth the sub for the hours on YouTube. Keep it the, thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Tell the UK I said hi. Literally all of it. The whole UK. Wow. So lucky. So lucky. I just wanted one one bitter blossom token with a counter on it. Blah blah blah. Hey, Frank Mike Chat Mike and Birthday Mike or old BM as he's known around the campfire. Are you known as BM? Really? This is your first? I think you just pay four here, right? I got fatal push. I don't want to go down to eight when they have like we know they have at least one lightning bolt in their deck. In their hand, no less. Ooh. Now we're talking. Get them rogues, boy. Oh, I can't attack with that yet. Dang it. Dang it. Biscuits. It's okay. We'll, we'll get, get them rogues, boy. Did I say that? Yeah. God, I must have blacked out. But seriously, you should get them rogues, boy. This is my preview card uh, from Avacyn Restored when, we, when I was a TCG player. It seemed very uh, not fitting, but you know, you take what you can get. Look at this. What is this basic mountain with a this foil basic fire and lightning mountain? What is going on? Get your life together. Do it. Get it together. All right, now we're just going to attack for a bunch. They're probably going to lightning bolt something here, right? Or else they have to discard. <clears throat> so we're going to go to 10. Or 12, rather. They have no ram that red man up. Oh, that's true. So they're just going to have to throw these lightning bolts away. I bet they're two lightning bolts. That's my guess. Oh, a bushwhacker? Oh, next time they could have went lightning bolt bushwhacker? That would have been decent. I don't know if it would have been great. You take the good, you take the bad, you take the mud, and then you have the facts of life. The facts of life. You remember that show? No. You remember the show, The Facts of Life? No. Oh, all right, cool. We got them. I guess they couldn't. I guess they couldn't handle it. I I started watching uh, Man on the Moon again last night. That movie is fantastic, dude. We need to watch that. Lebo, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Will a turtle tribal deck ever be possible? I love turtles. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, I can only hope that Wizards uh, decides to share the turtle love. I feel like Spreading Seas is actually nuts against this deck. The problem is if you get the Spreading Seas to turn after they have the red, they just dump their hand and they don't care. They can only, they've only been playing like one thing a turn, you know? Do you know? No. Good talk.
Well, yeah, what do you what do you know about Andy Kaufman? Nothing. Pretty much. Amateur. I'll keep this hand. So we can go turn one. Oh, they didn't play anything? Oh boy. Oh boy. I want to play the life gain guy, but I also want to make the life gain guy a 2-2, two -two, so we're just going to play this guy first. Then we can go black guard into like both of these if we hit a land, or this guy. Oh my god. This is actually a great hand. I think the mute vaults are a little unnecessary. Reason being, like you have a lot of like one drops and two drops that are really mana intensive. And also your, your mute vaults never actually getting pumped by black guard. I guess it's good with bandit, but you know. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Really? I'm probably just blocking here. Really? You don't want to prowl out the Lord? No, I was just going to play Luna's Black Guard, so everything else is bigger. What I don't want to do is take 5 and go to 15 against this deck. I mean, this is just a 2-1. Like, I'd rather have all future, future gentlemen and ladies get... We could also just put a, a spreading seize on this guy. Which I'm actually okay with if it's their only green source. Give me another blue mana or black mana. Oh, a, a black guard. Similar. Hmm. <clears throat> the facts of life. The facts of life. There's a world of Now, why do I have this in my head? All right, so they did play a red gentleman. Wow, what if we just hit this? And they have nothing. And we can try to hit a land drop. Let's do that. Oh, this is also a 1-1 one -one now, which is fantastic. <laughs> Got him. <clears throat> If we can draw a black source, we can go double black guard, which is actually pretty nuts. And then we can just start dropping all these idiots. These would be three threes. Wow, that'd be insane. Oh my god, the two spreading seas that we boarded in are just actually insane. Uh, let's just go this guy. Come on, black source. Black guard into... Yeah, these meat vaults, if these were colored lands, would be insane because we can play something else this turn. But Oh god, they're so good at this game. How did they get this good? Oh, man, I need to learn. I need to learn how to do it. I feel like we tried to... Uh... Dang it. We tried to bank on the... On the Spreading Seas Gambit, and it didn't work. There's no justice. Yeah, our biggest problem is just playing one of these guys a turn. How many mutable turn in the deck? Like a million? Get out of here, Arena. Four mutavolts? No way, that's way too many with 20 lands. That leaves you with 16 colored sources of mana. That is no bueno. But they attack. And the protect. Yeah, but we're also dead. <laughs> like if we hit if any of one, if if either one of these were a, a non mutable vault land, like we would just be so far ahead. We would have a two two. We can block one of their other guys. We'd have another two two. We could block one of their other guys. Like now we just go to we have to. We actually can't even risk blocking here. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we're definitely taking out mutable vaults here. They're just not necessary. You just don't need them. You have twenty four creatures in the deck and. I mean, if this triggers something like Earwig Squad, it also implies that you have five lands out, right? You have a land, you have Activate Mutavolt, and then you have to have three more lands in order to cast the Prowl cards. So, like, you're not actually prowling off of Mutavolts. I think you can leave, like, one in here, but that's pretty much all mm, I would actually... I'd, I'd cut them all. Really? Yeah. I kind of like just having one. I think one is fine. I just think they're too awkward. They are a little awkward. Is Mistbind Click a rogue? I don't think so. It's a wizard. No, you're not gonna play non. You're not gonna play non rogues in here. That's just a. That's just a, an insult. I'm gonna look up rogues in. Um. Modern. Type line, rogue. Well, oh, that's. I don't know how that came up. All right. 
Okay, I guess I just have to click on it even if I spell it. That's nice. Okay. Colors blue and black and format modern. Let's give it an old search. There are only 13 cards with rogue? Wait, that's not right. Oh, okay, hold on. We did the uh, has to be both colors rather than at most these colors. Only 149, actually. That's not a, that's not a tremendous amount. Uh, we probably want them costing three or less. So mana cost. Is that? Uh, converted mana cost equal to less than or equal to three. Blighted Agent. That is an unblockable rogue that has Infect. I don't think we're going to be winning with Infect, though. Oh, Contraband Kingpin is an interesting rogue. I also don't like the Romans in the deck because you're not actually, like, you're tapping out every single turn in this deck. Contraband Kingpin is just a 1-4 with lifelink for a 2. That's not bad. And the, the Artifact Clause is not really relevant. Yeah, I don't know. Seems to me. You see me? Wow. Got him. Wow, got him. He got so wrecked. Hum. Hum, 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 hum. Hum, 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 hum. Is Sig a rogue? Also, Glint Sleeve Siphoner is a rogue. That's pretty sweet. I'm going to the next page just to see if Sig is a rogue. Oh, Ludrio Core. That's a good one. And then it's Modern Legal, isn't it? Wow, that's interesting. Pestermite is, a com is comically a rogue. Um, oh. Yes, Sig Rigger for Recut. At the end of the turn, lost three more life to stream. We draw a card. I don't know if it's going to be... Actually, I could see taking out the Romans. I don't think Romand is great. I think Knowledge Exploitation is too cute. Latchkey Fairy can go. And we'll take out two Triton Shore Shore Stalkers because we're gonna put in better creatures. I'd also put in a twenty first land. <coughs> Shut up, God. <coughs> Got him. Yeah. Yeah. Big. Big. You okay? You alright? Yeah, I almost died. No big deal. <laughs> NBD. What about Zulaport Cutthroat? That's interesting. card that gains three life off prowl what does that even mean i'm just going through all the rogues right now um so oh a tooth collector that's my uh that's my actual occupation oh yeah man these sick brag is coming from mike well it's his birthday he can brag a little bit and in Mike's head, he's like, what did I brag about? Yeah, I don't know. Relic Hunter. No. Mm, I'm just going through going through the rogues here, guys. Night Vale Sprite. That's an interesting one. I don't think it's good enough, though. Oh, actually, Orzhov Enforcer is an interesting one. I, which I have none of right now. It's the one two with death touch that has afterlife one. I don't know if that's good enough though. It's just you want cards that are impactful on the board. We're definitely adding. Let's add some more lands. What are some more blue black lands? Let's actually just put like glacier, uh, drowned. Like we should definitely have enough of these to, to, to support four drowned catacombs. I think it's totally fine. Okay. Morsel theft. I'll look up cards that, that have rogue in the in the in the card themselves after this. Merfolk looty tooty. Invisible Stalker. That guy's a rogue. Wow. That guy's actually a sick rogue. 
He doesn't do much, though. We don't have equipment for him. So I guess he's just a 1-1. One, one. Hmm. Gateway Sneak is a rogue. We can play some gates in this deck. I actually kind of like Glint Sleeve Siphoner. The problem is you want to play like a bunch of one drops on turn three. Like you want to play like Una's Black Guard into a bunch of one drops. My also my concern is like Una's Black Guard. If it dies, you're just in bad shape. And you always it's a one one, so it dies pretty easily. That's true. It's not the most resilient creature. But neither are you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tetsuko. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good. Idea. The problem with Tetsuko is that all your creatures already have unblockable. And when you have a black card out, they're all two twos. Cavern of Souls actually seems great. Where am I? Am I letting someone borrow Cavern of Souls? Hmm. Hmm. That seems awkward. I don't know where my Cavern of Souls are. Cards here. Where's like my what's going on? Okay. I'm missing like Lily on the Veils and Cavern of Souls and stuff. That's weird. Huh. I'm gonna ask Mike if he's borrowing anything from me. Interesting. Liliana's aren't even that much money, so I can't imagine, like, that's weird to me. Anyway, let's let's focus on the task at hand. But Cavern of Souls. What? I, now I have to go get Cavern of Souls. That's super weird. I definitely didn't sell Cavern of Souls. I yeah, that's awkward. Am I just like missing something? Do I have like a setting on or something? <laughs> that's like super awkward. Yeah, I don't know. This is strange to me. Okay, well. You guys are making jokes, but I'm kind of missing like a good amount of value here. A good amount of money. It's kind of a weird situation where people make jokes at moments like this because like it's like your house is like on fire and people are like yeah but now your heating bill is gonna go down and it's like yeah I mean okay yeah this is a good, a good opportunity to make jokes I guess but it's just kind of awkward for me because I don't know where these cards are and I'm pretty sure we just had Liliana's the other day when we played the Kaya list last week Hmm. Well, this is very disturbing. Yeah, alright. So there's no Cavern of Souls. Oh, hold on. I'm a moron. I'm an absolute moron. Hmm. 
what did you have disabled? I had I had show I had only show non foils because when when stuff like this when I search for things, like it shows, if I go to zero just because I want to put cards in a deck. It'll show like, oh, here's two different versions of things. And I'm like, I don't need two. I just want to see like the options that I have available. So I was like, don't even show foils. Okay, there we go. Now I can just see one version of everything so I know. All right, fantastic. Oh, God. Okay, catastrophe averted. Now we can continue. Woo. Apparently Gonti's a rogue. Yeah, Gonti's like a four mana though. What are we looking for? Cavern of Souls for crying out loud. Oh my god, I'm a moron. I was like, wait a minute. What do these cards have in common? It's just four caverns. Yeah, it's gotta be four caverns. It's just better than Mutavault, right? It's a colorless land for... And you don't have that many spells. I'll do three and one. I like one Drown Catacomb. Okay, we weren't playing Liliana. That was just the thing we said. So we still have seven empty slots here. You're most likely a three drop. You want to be a two drop. I guess we do need one mana rogues. Wow, what an what an emotional roller coaster that was. I feel like I was Whew. My god. <gasps> you doing okay? You looking at some rogues? Yeah. Okay, just checking on you. Mm -hmm -hmm. I was at the edge of my seat. Me too. I was like, oh my god. Did someone go on my account and just, just take Liliana's and Cavern of Souls? I'm like, these aren't even the most expensive cards in here. It got a little weird for a second. What about Glenn Sleeve Siphoner? I don't It's. I don't think we need more two drops as a problem. I think the. I think this guy was fine. It's just a 1-1 one, one instead of a 1-2, which I don't love. But being unblockable is just fine, I guess. We have five more slots here. Hmm. I also think this deck is way more black than it is blue. So why we have three islands and two swamps are, is is surprising because we have way more black cards. I feel like knowledge exploration was like the big thing that makes you win the game, though. Knowledge exploitation? Yeah. It just lets you cast one instant or one sorcery from their deck. Yeah, that could be real good, though. Against what? I don't know. Okay. Name one game-winning instant or sorcery that you can cast from your opponent's deck. Assassin's Trophy. That's not going to... That's literally a four-mana... If you want to pay four-mana Assassin's Trophy? Yeah. Okay, well... <laughs> you knock yourself out with that. Cruel Ultimatum is obviously the one card I was thinking of. However, I have my doubts that it's ever going to connect. What is the, um, the rogue the rogue thing do cloak and dagger a critical creature gets plus two plus oh and has shroud whenever a rogue comes into play you may attach cloak and dagger to it actually i don't hate one of those like that's actually giving it shroud is pretty good oh what if we just play two of these that could be a thing you have two inquisitions i feel like we want more inquisitions in the sideboard um i also feel like we want more spreading seas and more dragon's claws I'm gonna take the Thieves Fortune out. I don't think it's it's not doing us any favors in the sideboard. Um I think we can take Dismember out. We have Fatal Push, maybe. We can get out of three here, I guess. We can also put like two of these in the main deck, I think. And now we need one more card. Cryptic Command. Cryptic Command. Hmm. I can't believe how cold it is today. Yeah, you and most of the United States, apparently. What about Morang River Prowler? Eh, it's probably not the best. What does that do? What do you do? Wow. God, get him every time. It's like he has no idea. And there are... Anti-Snitch can't block. It's a Goblin Rogue. It's a 3-1 with Prowl. Whenever a Goblin Rogue you control deals combat damage to a player, if Anti-Snitch is in your grave, you may return it to your hand. Target player sacrifices a creature. If a goblin is sacrificed this way, they create two one rogues. Weirding shaman sacrifice goblin put two one one rogues into play. Hmm. Frog tosser banner is interesting. It's, it makes rogues cheaper, but the problem is that like, um, it actually doesn't. It, none of our guys like really. The only cards that really take advantage of that are these three. Hmm. Magic. 
Rogue is a hard game. Whirler Rogue. Unfortunately, that makes that makes Thopters not rogues. Marsh Flitter. Marsh Flitter is interesting. It makes three one ones. No, two one ones. They're all rogues though. Oh, what if I put like one Marsh Flitter in? This is gonna be. This is gonna be. We're gonna. We're going real deep here. All right, let's try this. This is a sixty. This is what we're gonna stick with for now. This is hilarious. Man, do you guys remember uh, Lost Card Gate 2019 where I couldn't find my Cavern of Souls and my Liliana's? No. I forgot. You forgot? It was like literally minutes ago. Right. True name nemesis. <laughs> Yeah, I would play True Name Nemesis all day, buddy. All day. True Name Nemesis. Oh, that's a, I guess that could be good. Can you imagine if True Name Nemesis looked like modern? Wow, yeah. And someone had to make a defense about it. They're like, yeah, but listen, I know it's a three drop, but it's it could be good. Look, look at this. Mm -hmm. Got us. Oh, there you go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I'm going to bottom you. I don't ever need four lands. Oh, look at that little bird. Beautiful. He did a little oopsie doopsie. Who? Shut up. Wow. <laughs> got him. Gah, he got wrecked. Did you? Did, did you? Got him? Did you? Did I? Exactly. He had no idea. He never saw it coming. Did you put invisible stalkers? No, not really. They don't really do anything is the problem. Like, there's a 2-2 unblockable creature. If you if you even have a black card. I'd much rather have a slither blade. Like, if your opponent wants to waste removal on this guy, that's fine. I'll pay one less and I'll deal with it. Oh, yeah. Let's name Rouge Goblin Rouge. Don't even try to block it. That's a Naga Rogue, it's unblockable. Some Naga initiatives move as silently as the sun's reflections on the water. Some Nagas, uh, some Naga initiates move as silently as the sun's reflections on the water. Oh, life grows everywhere. My kin merely find those places where it grows strongest. Please stop. <laughs> don't even act like you don't like it, you ingrateful biscuit. I wonder if I can earwig squad here or if it's just better to I think it's, I'm gonna run a black guard black guard and do the other thing. Black guard and do the other thing. Then we get a six four out of it. They have two cards though. I don't think we care. Play mama green, what could happen? Well, they could go like tooth and nail. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have I mean they have eight mana right now. Tooth and Nail requires nine mana to entwine. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that funny? <laughs> no, but I laughed at it. <laughs> I was like, what was funny about it? That was terrible. Can't get enough of that cookie crisp. Love that cookie crisp. Is that how the song goes? Something like that. What does this guy can what does Skulk do? Can he be blocked by creatures with greater power? Okay, so they could double block. Yeah, that's fine. If you want to trade two elves for a for a cutty throat. Cutty McThroat or son, I'm good to go. Oh, they gotta discard their card? Yeah, nice. Nice. I bet it is a tooth and nail. I bet it's a Overrun, huh? Oh, that's the thing, isn't it? I think we're playing against not a real deck here. Oh yeah, this says the says the guys with the friggin' Una's Black Guard on the board. 
right, let's see what we got here. World Spine Worm. World Spine. <laughs> World Spine. Um, yeah, none of these cards are actually like drop them on the board game winning. So I think we're just going to cut the overrun. And overrun. And like a Gear Hulk, I guess. Where's the Crater Hoof at? Where's the Hoofy Boy? Where's the Hoof the Boof? I don't know what that means. Is that guy even legal in modern? Are you even legal in modern? I don't think so. He's not even legal in modern. Mike B banned in modern. Does Mike does the MB in your name stand for modern band? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's messed up. We won the game. All right, so I kind of want negates because they do have a uh, crater and overrun. Inquisition also seems good. Can't get an overrun cookie crust. What are the cookie crust songs stick mad again? Do you know? I don't know. I have okay. no idea. Just making, just seeing if you knew. <sighs> Take out my marsh flitter, I guess. Actually, it's real good. I like it a lot. Oh, look, oh, whoa. Don't, don't, don't take my marsh flitter out. I don't out. think you need a gate, man. He ain't gonna win. I'll bring in one negate. How about that? Okay. He, you say he ain't gonna win? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <clears throat> you can only bring in negate if he's gonna win, and he ain't gonna win. So it doesn't matter. By that, by that token, I don't have to bring in anything because he's not gonna win. So what's the point? I don't think you do need to bring anything. Okay. Well then, I guess we've established that. Can't get another one. Mm -hmm. Love that Michael Chris. Hey, Frank and Mike, just working my way through your vintage Q videos. Thanks for all the good. Hey, Dan, thanks so much for saying so and for the subs. Really appreciate it, buddy. Hopefully, there are enough for you to consume because I think there's like 40 of them. By that token, we shouldn't even play the game because we'll win anyway. Yeah, I agree. Sometimes when I go to FNM, I'll just sit down and I'll just get right back up and leave, and I'll be like, I was going to win anyway. Yeah. Might as well. Duh. I don't even know why I'm here. Do we like two better blossom hand? Yeah, we always like. We like two better blossom anything. Look at all me! Look at all me slither blades! Uh, look, look at, at all me slither blades! <laughs> I'm sorry, what slither? What? Me slither blades. Okay. I like that they're using this mirage rampant growth though. That's classy. That is a classy rampant growth. It's like 54 degrees outside, and I'm like, "Ooh, let's put this little fan on on the desk." Yeah, you crazy? You don't want this? No, I'm fine with it. Oh well, then maybe I'm not crazy. Then you ever think about that? I just don't think it's necessary. I don't think you're necessary. Wow. Got him. What do I have for dinner tonight, man? I don't know. You're going to your parents' house, so I gotta eat alone. I eat alone. That's from... Yeah, like... Wait. I have no idea what you just did. I'm pretty sure you blacked out. Are you? Were you thinking I drink alone? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was doing I hunt alone from Hearthstone. You were doing I drink alone. By, I think, George Thorogood. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you tried. And I think that's the important part. You know the best part about rogues? You know when I drink alone? I prefer to be by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I gotta, yeah all right man you got it you got it is that Felipe I think it is I think Felipe is back from his short shift and so he can delve into his his world of Kingdom Hearts 3 oh uh, we do have two Inquisitions in the main deck now so I don't even know what you're talking about 
Oh, a 3-3. Three, three, I missed Cuddy. I can just block this guy literally forever. And they don't want to attack. Okay. Sounds good. Do they know this has haste? Do they know it's a hasty boy? It's a dead boy now. It's a dead boy now. <laughs> You're going to do that, man. He's going to make a dead boy meme here. Is that a thing? It's a dead boy now. We can just play another Bill Blossom make two twos. Two two twos a turn. Let's Thieves Fortune after this. We'll see what we hit. Can't get enough of that golden. Is it Golden Crisp or Cookie Crisp? I have no idea which song it is, to be honest with you. Because I thought they went love that cookie crunch. I thought it was the Cookie Crisp. Not the Golden Crisp. I don't even think Golden Crisp. Is Golden Crisp a cereal? This is Are all too much. cereal? No. Golden Chris. <laughs> wow, that was a nice little Hearthstone meme you did there. Golden Crisp. All right, so we're probably just earwig squatting. Cracking this boy. Getting a Swamperino. I don't feel like there's any reason to take more damage than we need to. Watch out, bro. He's going to overrun us. That's what I'm worried about. We could probably deduce what they have in their hand. I think they do have one one overrun in their hand. Arbor Colossus is interesting, too. You're never going to actually have time to... But then we have we have no real way to kill this guy. I'm actually going to take the Arbor Colossuses. Because this is a 6-6 six, six with a reach. Like, that's really scary. I'm going to take this guy. One, two, three. Because it just blocks all of our, all of our floaty boys. It's true. I know. That's why I said it. You think I'd lie about that? I think you'd lie about anything. What's sugar golden crisp? What the hell is that? What's sugar crisp? I don't even think that's a cereal. Are you guys from Canada? Are you guys talking about your Canadian cereals? Sugar crisp? Did that become golden crisp? This is this is too much. Oh look, they had one in their hand. They had one. Oh my god. I can't believe they did this. I mean you can still talk with the unblockable guys. You can probably just swing with everything still. I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna play two bitter blossoms. And then next turn, we're gonna destroy them. We're gonna destroy the child. Oh god, it's gonna be the commercial, isn't it? Oh god, here we go. Mm -mm. My super golden crisp cereal with eight vitamins makes this nutrition. Is this gonna get me demonetized? With eight vitamins. Eight vitamins? Take it easy, buddy. Quit showing off with your vitamins. Is three bitter blossoms good? I don't know. If you a cereal and you ain't count chocolate, don't talk to me. Okay. <laughs> Wow, that's the most that's the most mean girls cereal feeling I've ever heard. Can't get enough of that golden crisp. That sugar crisp is it sugar crisp? I don't know anymore, guys. I'm just done. He I'm, just sang it, man. I'm passing. It's I'm golden out. crisp. He didn't sing it. He didn't sing it. We didn't get to that part yet. Well, why don't we play the whole thing? Because I don't want to get demonetized. You're not gonna get demonetized for a nineteen fifties commercial, man. <laughs> it might not be in the public domain yet, man. That ain't from the 1950s. That was in color, dude. They had color then? No, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't have colors back then? In real life, they did. Not on the TVs. I just want to make sure. Color TV. Let's find out. Oh, they just... We won. Uh, it's not standardized on the palette and seeing it until the 1960s. It was not until the early 1970s that color te television in North America outsold black and white or monochrome units. Yeah, man. The 50s was way too early for color TV. You're actually ridiculous. What if you're, like, super hip? Uh, if you're super hip, you probably had less money than the non-hip people, so you probably definitely weren't buying a color TV. What if you're super hip and rich? 
And you had a time machine. <laughs> okay, the last one's really where I think you sold me on it. <laughs> That's the one where I'm like, eh, you know, maybe if you bring the time machine into it, I can see what you're doing. Alright, I'm just gonna play it again. I think this is okay. <laughs> Break me off a piece of that fancy, fancy feast. Dang it! Football meat. Football cream. That was a good office episode. Uh, Sneeples. Sneeples. You heard me. I did. I just don't know what it means. Yes, you do. You know what Sneeples means. <laughs> I don't, actually. You know. I have no idea. You know. Is it possible Um. you know? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Got him. I had my beef in the beef hole, then the guys came and wrangled it out of me. <laughs> well, that's something right there. You know what? That was definitely a sentence. That was, those are definitely words that I understand individually. Oh, crying out loud. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. All right. Don't talk about your... Oh, look, I'm almost going to skip through my main phase. Let's go this guy into this guy. <laughs> You're like, what are my heroes? Oh, we're having a good time. What I meant to say is that the maintenance guys came to my apartment and stole my hamburgers from my fridge. I live alone with an invented language. <laughs> Don't we all? Don't we all? I don't know how to spell here. Uh, uh. Okay, so what are we doing here? We're playing this black guard, right? Yeah. Yeah. If we play a Scalding Tarn? Oh, they're going to just crush us with, like, Death Shatter or something. We're just going to be like... I'm playing rogues here, so let's let's go easy. Oh, yeah, we're 100%. When they go foil Scalding Tarn, it's just like, well, all right, we're dead. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's happening. Oh, into a foil scene vents. This is this is rough. Oh, it just happened. It just resolved. Lightning bolt. Here it comes. Yep. Oh, oh god. Never did. Never didn't have it. Never didn't have it. Remember that time the guys had their beef in your beef hole and then they wrangled it out of you? No. You remember. I don't. It's not traumatic, though. I'm sorry. It's not, it, it was probably very traumatic. Put your hamburgers in the meat My name is Michael, and I live in the trash can. They call me Trash Can Michael. Every day. Every day. That's when they call you that. Yes. Wow. God, I'm so I'm so in the in the market of not taking a lot of damage here. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you're what you're working with here. Oh, can we get three ArcLight Phoenixes? Because that's what that's what I assume you're doing. Kiki Jiki. Woo. Woo. And Blood Moons. This is a spicy number. Anger of the Gods is scary. All these cards are scary to me. That's a scary deck. Huh. We could take the Kiki Jikis. We could take two to see Rex Arcs and like an Anger. If they top take a Blood Moon, it's real scary. Oh, we got a we got a Swamp, I guess. All right, so we're gonna go Anger, Kiki. No, maybe not Kiki. Maybe two to see Rex Arcs. My concern is that they have like one of each in their hand, and then it's like useless. Mm -hmm. We already have a Fatal Push. We can just leave that. We'll just take like Anger and Double Electrolyze, I guess. It's actually pretty tricky. Pretty tricky, sis. All right, I guess we're going to pass here. 
How many times do you think this person has had earwig squad played against them in modern? Zero. Actual zero. Uh, Kiki seems better than Exarch. I disagree because you can play Exarch on turn three, and you actually have to triple red for for Kiki Jiki. So I just don't think it's gonna be that relevant that frequently. What's happening? Oh, is this what you really? Is this what you want to do? You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna lightning bolt my little earwigs, my little earwigs, but my earwig boys, them earwig boys are at it again. That was just sad. Sad. They did nothing to you. Those old earwig boys are at it again. I guess we play Slitherblade, or we can just kill this guy. It's a two one. Who cares? Sometimes I care. Why? You know, I don't know. What does Exarch do against us? It taps our five three. It taps our mana. I mean, like it's not that it does anything against us. It's just that it's a it's a roadblock. It doesn't matter. We didn't take him anyway. We took Electrolyze and we took Banger of the Gotems. Smanger of the Schmods. I don't know what you said right there. Smanger of the Schmods. Oh, that's right. That's right. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. I don't think we're going to attack into that. He's not blocking, ever. Do we think they have a, some another anger in hand? Because they actually have one anger in it. Yeah, I don't feel like running out Fatal Push. If you guys are hearing birds or things in the background, it's definitely the ambient music from MTG Arena. What do you know about that bird? What do you know about the bird? Well, it is the word after all, Michael. Hmm. It is the word. I see. Do you? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, we're definitely blocking here because I feel like this is an anger turn. No, not an anger turn. I am fascinated. There are fascinating things going down here. Mutals o tootles. All right, let's see if we got another to see Rex Arc or Pestermite. Yeah, now they might just play it to block the Mutal Bolt, which I think is what's going to happen. Oh, a Lightning Bolt. Okay, I believe you. Join the line. I'm not gonna be in time. Okay. I'm just gonna play Slither Blade now. Because we still have Muta Vault and Bitter Blossom if they if they want to wipe the board. David Attenborough does know about them birds. You can hear the the majestic wild MTG arena bird in the background. Cool. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. That sounds pretty lame to me. Are we beating this, like, blue-red Kiki deck? Well, you know what they say. Tell me. A dollar donut. One dollar per donut? Mm -hmm. That's a good deal. For the store. <laughs> Them donut boys are at it again. Stop having so many things. It's making me cry. Yeah, they have two cards in hand. I feel like we're in okay shape here. Oh, they're gonna block. Are you ready? Oh my god, this is so many Snapcasters. You know what's a really good card? Snapcaster Mage. You're right. I know. I invented it. You didn't. I was very young. It was a while ago. It was when I was in 
I was traveling the Outback at the time. Yeah. I'll never forget. I'll never forget that. Here he goes. I think we got three. All right. Three is the magic number. The magic number. Bring in another Inquisition. Gonna bring in probably two dismembers here. I have to go to the bathroom now. You gotta take a little poop? Maybe. Good for you, buddy. Knock yourself out. Hey, man. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. God, I believe in that guy. I think he can do it. You taking? Oh, you're gonna refill? Okay. I'm actually surprised how well we're doing with this deck, guys. I don't want to like, I don't want to jinx anything, but. One land, I'm still going to keep this hand. We can literally cast everything. So we'll see how this goes. I'm just going to get this because we don't know what we're going to need. I will Inquisition here. We'll see what we got here. Snappy, Pester, Lightning Bolt, Electrolyze. Hmm. I kind of like taking Lightning Bolt because it kills Sig. Electrolyze kills two guys, though, which is pretty scary. I'm going to take the Electrolyze here. I think it's the strongest card in the hand. And if you just want a one-for-one one with anything else, it's fine. Ideally, we'll just hit another Inquisition, but... I mean, we can also hit a land. I'm okay with hitting lands as well. I'm going to play the 1-2 because if they want to kill it, then they have to expend a Lightning Bolt and we get to keep a 1-2. So. What are these gifts? Pizza? Carbonara? What are these? Are these Andre Mangucci? What is even going on? Okay, so that's gone. This is gone. Okay, so we know... Pesterite and Snapcaster and nothing else. Are they going to V-click us? Oh, they're going to just tap our land. Yeah, that's fine. Well, this is... This is unfortunate... I have no idea what these emotes are. These Carbonara and these Pizza emotes. Well, this is something all right. We'll just play this guy. Stop killing my tiny gentlemen. See, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. So they have Snapcaster and a Lightning Bolt, which means Sig is pretty bad here. <sighs> Please read my comment. I read every one of your comments. Everyone in chat is saying hi to me, acknowledge me, Franklin, or I'm leaving. I mean, acknowledge me, or I'm staying. Hi. Gelato, pizza, carbonara. Please read my comment above. Yeah, what? I read them all. What about them? I don't understand anything about them. You're just utter, it's literal nonsense. You're just literally saying nonsense. 
I think you have a brain disorder. And I say that with love. Chick-fil-A is some solid... Well, unfortunately, Chick-fil-A can never be Chicken Sunday Fuel because they're closed on Sundays. Thank you. Ancient Stirring. Is this Rogue Tribal? No. Yes. Okay, so... Yeah, we're not going to play any of these things pre-combat, so we're just going to attack... Just take the one. All right, sounds good. I am game. Let's try to hit a land here. Oh my god. Wow, that was interesting. That was interesting and awkward. Well, biscuits. Wow, to the face, no less. My God. This is brutal. Well, I wanted to kill this, but I think we're just going to have to kill the Snapcaster now because I don't really want to take four here and go to five and then hope we have a way to uh, reliably kill the Pestermite. Got him. I'm some sense. Ow, my face. What is even going on? Are you okay? This is the weirdest I've ever seen you act. And that says a lot, my dude. You have one card in hand. Let's get rid of Bolt. Bolt. Electrolyze. Rob, blink if you're being forced to say these things. You said I was nonsense. I said you're nonsense and I'm some sense. That's good. That's very good. Yep, going to... Can we just win with like with the rhythm of the night? All right, we're hoping to dodge a three mana Bernie McBurnerson here. Hmm. Like, we ripped all the lightning bolts. Three lightning bolts are here. Ooh, no attacks. That seems good for us. Show it and inbred. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. Oh! <gasps> We won the game against the blue red uh, top tier thingamajig. I'm gonna say good games. Sweet, unbelievable, unbereva brew. Wow, we are two one with this. This is unbelievable. Oh man, what's been really good for us? 
Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I like Sig that much. What card's been great? Earwig Squad's actually pretty decent. Vampire Cutthroat is actually pretty decent as well. If we can get a Cloak and Dagger on a Vampire Cutthroat, it's pretty good. Creature can be blocked with creatures with greater power. It does limit the amount of creatures that can block it, but... It sounds like you're underestimating my favorite deck. That's That might be true. That might be true. I am enjoying it, though. Hmm. I do like this one Marsh Flitter. It's kind of funny. Because it makes... If you have, like, Una's Blackguard into Marsh Flitter, it's like three two twos. I have no idea what just happened. That's amazing. I can cut one Sig for one more Inquisition. I do like having another Inquisition. Access denied. I wouldn't even worry. Like you, like, you actually donated for this to happen, so don't even worry about it, man. Like, that's like... These guys are good if you can get them down. I also like the synergy with this. Like, they're 1-1, one, one, so they can't be blocked, really, by anything. And then this guy pumps them after blocks. So you're like, ooh, cool. We have two Inquisition. I like going up to a third Inquisition. Also, Cloak and Dagger just triggers on every creature. So if you just play this on two, it's, it's almost like having more black guards, kind of. Mike's finally done with his little poop. He's on his way back. You can hear him. Hey, how's your little poop? Great. Did you, did you clean out your little, your little, your little beef? I'm not answering whatever okay. this question is going to be. <laughs> whatever it's going to be, the answer is no. I'll keep this. Oh, my stir const is out of date again. God, every Dang. time. I can't. I'm dead. All right, we're keeping this. Um. Yeah, that's fine. We got turn one cutthroat, boy. What could go wrong? The inevitable heat death of the universe. The inevitable heat death of the universe. I mean, that doesn't sound like it's going wrong, per se. I feel like that's just, it's right on time, really, whenever it happens. Do you want to be around for that? What if it was tomorrow? I don't think it would be based on all my scientific knowledge, but... But uh, if it was... If it was what? If it was tomorrow. But what if it was? You said, but if it was... Right. Then what? Well, now you're supposed to respond. So, so what? My dad. I'm supposed to respond to your dad. Okay, well. well there's a lot of lands there, huh? Yeah, so I'm kind of, kind of glad we got rid of them, I guess. I'll get the Cavern of Souls. We got a rogues, awesome. Nice. I like it when people are excited about our rogues. This is where they're like Would you recommend blending a whole banana into your in with your shortening bread? Okay, um, let me ask let me ask you something real quick. If they're playing Valakut and we play Earwig Squad, is that just busted? Can they just not win? Um, no, they only need one Valakut to kill us. I don't think so. You can get lands, too. You can get anything you want. This is America, Michael. Hmm. Hmm. That was my nose itching. All right, what do we got here? Anger, anger, anger. Oh, we got some Through the Breaches, too? Woof! Oh, this is an interesting deck. All five, or fall, or all, blah, 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 blah. there's four Primeval Titans in here, four Through the Breaches, so we know we don't have any of those. You have three Angers, you could have an Anger. Four Chalices in the main deck, one Emrakul? I think we just take the Valakuts.
Yeah, if they go like search for a mountain anger, it's gonna be pretty bad. Well, search for a mountain. That's the first half. Depends on if the deck runs four angers or three angers. Oh, interesting. We are still alive. Okay, well. This is the most lands I've ever seen from the deck. One, two, three, four, five, and then we put three on the bottom. Yeah, I don't think we've actually connected with a Stink Drinker in one of our matches yet, so that is unfortunate. <laughs> Michael's little baby loves shortening bread. That's true, my little baby does like shortening bread. I knew it. You do anything cool for your birthday later? Yeah. Cool. Good talk. Good talk. Don't don't do something. Don't do it. Don't be this guy. You're gonna throw the breach. You're gonna summoning trap? Oh god. Don't hit. Oh gross. Oh, I'm vomiting all over myself right now. Oh, I'm so oh. 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 Oh, I'm dry heaving. Oh, this is just... I hope you fake dry heave until you actually heave. So so dry heave into regular heave? Yeah. Into wet heave? Good talk. Now my son is confused as to why Mike is sitting there with you. I'm confused as to why Mike is sitting anywhere with me. I can leave if you want. No, you can't. You can never go anywhere. So am I a prisoner? It's like the Hotel California, man. You can check it anytime you like, but you can never leave. <laughs> wow, just the old... Oh, boy. Trap in a trap? Yibbity yep. Trappity trap, yibbity yep. Du, 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 du. I feel like we were being... I feel like we were doing very well up until they double trapped us. Am I being detained? No, you don't think you can win this one? I don't have a good feeling about it. The Am I under arrest? Pinnacle. Am I under arrest? You know what that's from? From a dad. It's not from your dad. You don't know that. He could be in the movies. He's not in a movie. It's not a movie. It's literally a show that you've seen a bunch of times. It's called it's called Breaking Bad. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Nope. Never What's heard that? of that? Mm, yeah, okay. What dat? Who dat? Who dat? Frank and the Barbobbly Boos. Four months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hey, Frank, love the content and so much. Had to steal someone else's prime this year to subscribe. Thanks for all the laughs. Well, I don't know if I support Prime Theft, but I will anyway. Hmm. Good talk. Oh man, kitty cats, kitty cats. Why are you? What are you? I'm not. Not touching it. Just very close. I don't understand the appeal of it. I guess. Like putting your nose right up to the microphone. No, I'll touch it. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm touching it. You know what, Michael? Just let me have my phone, okay? No. You didn't get that Breaking Bad reference? Where Skylar's in the cafe with, with Hank? I mean, I get it now, but like, whatever. Good one. I get it now, but like, whatever. 
Oh my gosh, we're playing Knowledge Exploration. I'm lit, literally sleeving that up for an Edric EDH deck as I watch this. Have we cast it yet? We cast it once in round one, and then we took it out of the deck. Awkward. That is indeed awkward. So what are we going to get here? You get a stupid island because you're stupid. A swamp, eh? A swamp, eh? Well, bye. It's probably going to leave on Slithy Blade. Why? Because he attacks for two. These are both one ones. You're right. I thought he attacked for two for some reason. <laughs> it's like, oh, do they? Wow. Wow. Well, I was right. Also, have some. It took me 15 minutes to purchase bits because PayPal bits. <laughs> I will take all the bits that you feel free to, to providing. So that you feel free to provide. I don't know if that was a good sentence or not. I'm going to, I'm going to err on the side. I'm going to, I'm going to say no. I'm leaning towards no in terms of the quality of that sentence. So, Oh, a little, look at a little snaky boy. I guess we're just attacking here. And we're really hoping that an anger of the gods does not strike us down. What? Wait, what? No! That's fine. You're, I guess you're just going to sack it anyway, so. To brave the polar earth vortex? Good luck. So people get, so people may have their tasty sandwiches. <laughs> Super friends. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Let's just get an island here. And we can go this guy into this guy. And then I'm going to say yes. Get on there. And now they're going to go anger and we're going to be like, whoop, whoop. Here we go. One, two, three. Yep. There we go. <sighs> Is it possible they don't have it, you think, at any point in the game of Magic? I no. don't think so. Mm -mm, that's not possible. I've never had it. I've never seen it before. I heard I heard I've heard stories of it. I've heard I've heard tales of it in legend. Did you hear Listen closely, children. The one time my opponent did not have it. Grandpa, you're so crazy. That never happened. I know, kids. It was just a story. They will play a land and pass. Oh, one, one. Here's one drop. That's a two drop. That's a good two drop, too. That's a two drop. It is. Meh. Hmm. <laughs> huh. I wonder why they didn't crack that clue. Oh, I guess they got bigger plans. Obstinate Bayloth. Fascinating. Ah, it's fascinating, it is. Oh, yeah, let's equip both. 5 1 floaty shroud boy. Game. Uh, I don't think we're going to equip it. Actually, mm hmm. So we can trade here, but this is susceptible to anything. I'm gonna say no. So I'm just gonna keep it on the rogue, the rugals. The rugals? Yeah. The, well, I guess they're both rugals. So never don't not haven't it. Yep, that's about right. I get to crack this and get so many clues. I have all the clues in the world. And now I'm going to play a Primeval Titan. And I'm going to get a Valakut and a Mountain and kill your Black Guard. You messed up. It's, it seems to be going well. It's all so two, oh, got double that. two Valakuts. Well, that's fascinating. Spreading seas. 
Why are you talking like a weirdo? That's how I talk. It's not. I know. Bitter Blossom. I think we're dead here. This deck just has too many ax axes that they're fighting on. Uh, yeah. That's a good deck. That's a good deck. I, I would love more card advantage. Like, Thieves Fortune isn't really card advantage. It's just kind of like... I think the problem is all your guys are little dorks. They're just not big enough. I mean, if they don't have Anger of the Gods, it's been fine. Like, we're 2-2 two -two right now. You're a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. That's that's brilliant. Because you are one. Because what? Got him. <laughs> what, what happens when you get to a point where your friendship is actually more painful than rewarding? Like, if it hurts you more than oh that's the best kind than, than what you get out of it <laughs> what happens then guys um there's gotta be something right oh Biden of Thassa seems like gas is there a better Biden of Thassa or is this the only thing we have here Take out Marsh Flitter. Take out, I'm going to take out the Thieves' Fortunes. I just don't think they're that great. I like Biden a lot. I want to play three Bidens. Four man is a lot, though. Is this de is this the best deck to play to start out with? Yeah, definitely. Brandon, good uh, good to see you, man. Uh, thanks for thanks for checking out my stream. I, I can understand being a new Magic player is, is daunting. What did you say? Four, four man, man is a lot. Though. Yeah. Four man, though. Yeah. 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 Does it bother you that you sound like that all the time? No. Not in the slightest. Okay. <laughs> Not even a little bit. I love it. Well, the thing is, like, we can still cast Stink Drinker on, like, turn three, along with another one drop. Like, it's not... They're not competing. Just because Stink Drinker costs four mana, and just because you might have to play him after combat on a turn doesn't mean that it's not good like if you play him on four mana on turn four it's just better to play him on turn three after combat and pay two less mana like it's not that big of a difference can we just take time to appreciate the name of stink drinker <laughs> i think we did thank you villy with the gifted sub large brandon is actually not a new magic player don't actually be fooled by him he's actually a troll He's, he might be one of the biggest trolls I know, and by that I mean he's quite tall. So, um, hence his name, Large Brandon. I was say his name is Large Brandon. Yeah. You went down to one Siggy Piggy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about Frog Tosser? Is his name Large Brandon? Yeah, he's a little fat. He's probably one of the fattest dudes I've ever seen. He's unhealthy. Like, it's to an unhealthy degree yeah, how fat he is. It's unbelievable. This is actually our, our more reasonable curve here. A sword must have a pig. <laughs> yes, there are always Ravnica Allegiance drafts later. I need one card, guys. What's my one card here? Cryptic Command. Stop saying Cryptic Command. Why not? Or why so? Because it's four mana and Playing like, one dive down? Yeah. Come on, man. What's wrong with it? Saves your guys. More like Schmive down. Actually. What about like a main deck spell pierce? Seems random, but okay. Let's play, I'm going to play fourth Inquisition in the main deck. God, he's making a ruckus out there. Charter course could be good. Bring the bring the ruckus. Oh, metallic mimic seems great actually. Hmm. Is Metallic Mimic just good? What does that even do? Uh, 
Uh, you choose a creature type. Each creature of the chosen type enters with a one-one counter on it. That Excellent. seems good. So we can get rid of a sig. About that guy. Put one. Put one Inquisition back in the sideboard. Uh, get rid of. Probably cut one, I guess. We can cut one cloak and dagger. Actually, we can probably cut both cloak and daggers because we have mimics now. So they're kind of just replacing the. All right, let's try that. I like that a lot. Also, adaptive automaton is another option. You can just name rogue with that guy. Michael, what are you doing with your life? He's leaving again. Jay Wolf, you know what that name is from? From John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. That's where it's from, yeah. His name is my name too, so it makes sense. Right. Can you give my glasses? I need to wear them. You don't need to, but I'll give them to you. Yes, I do. Wow. It's like you don't even care. His name is my name too, Michael. You're right. It's pretty bright in here. You probably need those. That's it's because my future is so bright. Is it our turn? <laughs> oh, this is overgrown tomb. All right. Look like a really interesting terrorist. <laughs> like a Ted Kaczynski. Oh god. Actually, this is perfect because we have Biden of Thassa mana. Do you wear those to protect the world from your laser eyes? I try. The world is never truly safe from my laser eyes, but I want to give them a shot at least. I think they deserve a chance. A fighting chance. So we can play Bitter Blossom or we can just play Una's Black Guard. I think I like Bitter Blossom first because next turn we can still play both of these. Oh, Ogre Slumlord. That's interesting. 33 Rogue for 5. The problem is it's a 3 3, so it dies to Lightning Bolt. And everything else does too, but it costs 5 mana. So that's not to say I don't like the card. It's just to say that. What are you looking at? The ground? Were you born this weird? Or did it happen over time? Who knows? It was like a, if you, like, oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know what's happening right now, but I feel bad about it. So next time we play Biden, then we can just be like attack with all four of these and like basically kill them and draw like a million cards. Oh, Biden could be the key. It could be the. There's no way the deck wants. It. Yeah, I agree with that. Did you hear about how badly the Ravnica Legion's Mythic boxes flopped? No, but I heard about. Like, I mean, I heard the stories about how how terrible it was run on eBay. Where like people were buying like ten and, and five and and fifteen at, at a time, and it was supposed to be limit two. But they didn't set the limit to two on eBay, so then they had to change it at the very end. And this was after like 9,000 had sold. Everyone that bought them to flip them can't even sell. Yeah, because everyone bought them to flip them. Which is pretty hilarious, to be quite honest. Oh, wow. Uh, not I you. I know what those are. The Ravnica Mythic boxes? Nope. They're like the 250 box, $250 boxes with like draft sets. And they all they contain like the eight full art alternate art planeswalkers. Hmm. Wow, Biden of Thassa is sure three cards. 
Yeah, this deck, this this card, this is this is it. This is the piece we needed. The the walkers in that one were garbage. Aliens Mythic Edition. I didn't like the walkers at all. That's why I was like the first one I was tempted to buy, but then the next one I was like, eh. Let's see if we can get an image up here for you. They look like this. They have these like full art planeswalkers. There you go, I like those. Okay. So basically, you got Karn and you got Dak Fade, and otherwise, meh. Yeah, that's literally the two, right? Karn and Dak Fade were the only exciting ones. Then you're like Soren Markov. That's not the exciting Soren. A Johnny Mentor of Heroes. That's not an exciting a Johnny. Tamio. That's she's all right. Jaya Ballard. Yikes. Garbage. Domri Raid. Yikes. Or Domri Chaos Bringer. Yikes. Kaya. Yikes. It's just like a bunch. It's like two good planeswalkers and like five yikes planeswalkers, six yikes planeswalkers, I guess. Yikes walkers, as 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 it were. Um, this might just win us the game. We could just stink drink here. You got a drink in that stink. You don't. But I do. You never do. No one does. No one ever does. But what Oof! Else? Oof! Look at them triggers, boy. Helps on only drawing land. It sure does. I agree. Magic is definitely not a game. Billy with the gift and sub to Matthew Ori. Oh my god. <gasps> yeah, this is why you don't be an asshole and buy things just to flip them. Because it makes you look stupid sometimes. If you don't do it correctly and you don't know what you're doing. Actually, I kind of like... I think the deck is fine like this. We didn't see much. We saw, like, two two early drops and a Beast Whisperer, so... I got the Whisperer in my sights. Uh, they definitely didn't barely sell 11k. Like, if they... There were, like, nine... There were, like, 7,000 available on... On on eBay. There were, there, they sold 9,000 the first eBay. And then I think they relisted it. And maybe they sold like seven thousand. Like let's we can look it up, right? Mythic edition. No, oh, there's gonna be a million listings. Eighteen hundred sold at two fifty. That's four hundred fifty thousand dollars. I mean, that's half a million dollars. For a product that does not cost four hundred fifty thousand dollars to print, definitely not. Checking out that link right now. Yeah, eighteen hundred. Oh, and they're still up there too. What? That's so weird, dude. This is a hot mess. And definitely not. Hey, man, you want to see my slither blade? right there it's true it is dang it gets me every time god these if as long as they keep giving me these arcs like shores i'll keep playing them you know why because they come into play untapped hmm. good talk until they don't when don't they right now they still would not if you played them right now if I played one right now, mm -hmm. why wouldn't it come to play tapped? Isn't it? Oh, it's three or less. Okay. All right. Why oh, you like this? I didn't know they were playing against elves here. Rex Sage, gross. Wow, that's disgusting. I'm, I vomited in my mouth just a little bit, just a touch. I think we got got. All right, take it easy. One guy ordered two, got 25. What? Good rate. Right. You look at an alien, a celebrity who thinks they're an alien that thinks it's human. I know. Wow, look at this one line. Here's your deck. Brrr. Why would they lay? Why would they lay it out like that? 
One of the most broken cards in this deck that I care about. Archdruids, maybe? You got Azuris in here? No Azuris, okay. I'm just gonna take the Archdruids, I guess. One, two, three. Only hitting three cards with the Awake Squad is kind of weird because you're like, well, you have four of them in your deck. You thought four was too good, apparently. Are you picking your nose? Yeah, I'm picking my nose. How's that working out for you? Not good because I'm picking the outside of it. Well, you should really adjust your your nose picking schedule. I mean, not schedule, but habits. I wear my sunglasses during the day so I can protect my eyes. Look at this guy. What a beefy boy. Give me an Una's Black Guard off the top. Can I get an Una's Black Guard? Well, that's like 10,000 damage. I think it's eight, seven, sure. What does the mic smell like? You've been sniffing it for an hour now. Two hours now. <laughs> It kind of smells like dear lord man wow that's rubber a choice when the rubber meets the road wow it seems good to have two of these in your hand I'm gonna go to the next game let's not sell this mythic edition on Hasbro on Hasbro toy shop because of how terrible the last time went for everyone sells terribly on eBay wrong number of boxes no limit on boxes per customer wizards surprise Pikachu <laughs> oh good times okay so uh, we're just gonna bring that guy in take one of these idiots out why is an idiot you wanna play some GTA 5 man Eventually. What does that mean? It means eventually. I'm going to have to take my mask off now. Oh, God, I forgot to take my glasses off first. Dang it. Thank you, Liv. I won't, though. Finally. Finally. Wow, you're a real pizza shit, you know that? God, if we yes. get one land of this hand is actually real strong. I don't trust it though. Now, now we're talking. I ain't trust it. I ain't trust it. Should have kept the first hand. Why? We have one land. No guts, no glory. I, that's fine. I'll take it. The will will take you. You know you want that bee blossom. I really do. So I'm going to pass. I should have played... Uh, Cavern only lets us play this, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, definitely should have played Cavern there. Why don't you shut up? Pshaw. Yeah, that's actually going to make a big difference. Because if we had this guy on one, we can play this on three if we hit a land. So This is where they just go m main deck... Uh, or, or like natural wreck sage on two. Which we could have hit if we had a land, but. Um, it's actually Inquisition here. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Woof. Oh, also, I didn't even see these. I was just like, oh, good, you have two cards in hand. That's fine. Nope, this hand is busted. Wow, this hand is insane. It's pretty good. Yeah, we can't keep up with this. Yikes. Yeah, that's a good one. So Beast Whisperer and Forest, I presume, are gone. 
You'd be correct. Well, it's okay. We didn't hit a third land anyway, so. 100 Rex Sage on two bits. Yep, those, that's that's what it is. Happy birthday, Mike. How rude of Van Cleef was Mike's birthday today. Happy birthday, man. Your permanent teeth are going to start coming in soon. They'll be real. You'll, then you'll be a real big boy. When do you think your permanent teeth are going to come in? After I murder you. That's, you think that's the trigger? Yeah. I that's know it. Interesting. This card's an elf, too. God, why aren't I just playing this deck? This deck's amazing. God, he's drawing a card for every single elf, and then he's also being able to tap three of them for mana. What a time to be alive. And you can still collect it, company? Oh, God, I'm going to vomit. We're just dead. Probably. That's not going to do it. I don't think we're alive here. I think we're dead. I think we have died. Oh, boy. I think the deck probably could use 22 lands. Like, you just don't want a situation where you can't play two things. I don't know if it's great. Skulk is is a really weird ability, actually. Camp, creature can't be blocked by creatures of power greater than it. So you're kind of skulking below them. Yeah, like you do. You know, you're getting in there. You're getting a little stink drink. <laughs> don't say getting a little stink drink. What if they live here? You know why. Does it uh, embarrass you? It embarrasses everyone. You embarrass yourself. Wow. You embarrass wow, yourself. Wow, what a hit. What a hit. Your arrogance. Just a casual seven damage and an arch druid. Yep. All right. So this game is over. All right. On that note, that's a about that's about where we where we sit i think i don't know <sighs> probably take out one mimic and i think we just add one more land like i think you just definitely want more land you have four dark Slick shores four polluted deltas you could add another water grave right only have three yeah that's fine yeah i think i would go with that that would probably be my final configuration i think biden if was great um i think you do want inquisitions in the main deck metallic mimic can probably be a three of because you know, you have to have more guys for it to actually be good. But you do have a lot. You have 25 creatures in the deck. But I think the deck was actually pretty sweet. Uh, it surprised me. And uh, had some good times with it. I liked it. Steve, thank you so much for letting me try it out. Uh, really appreciate it. If you guys want to have your own deck critiqued by me, definitely check out my Twitch profile or my Patreon page. Links are in the description below. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. What is Coastal Piracy? I'll check that out before I leave. And if you're watching on you on Twitch, I am not leaving. I am just ending the video. So don't be a nerd. Uh, coastal piracy. This is probably not modern legal, so I don't know how we put that in there. It's literally also just worse than... Isn't that just worse than Biden of Thassa? Whenever a creature you control does combat to a point, you may draw a card. Whenever a creature you control does combat to, to a player, you may draw a card. So, But then you can also force them to attack, which is relevant i don't know anyway thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it slam those like and subscribe buttons i will see you next time hope you enjoyed